Yo guys, what is going on? It is your boy Nick from On The Foot Market. I am excited to be here. It's another day on the top 100 ratings for you guys and we have 20 more today. We have 60 through 41 on the ratings today. I got a brief glimpse at a lot of these players and there are some absolutely amazing players, amazing investments. Um, you've got a little bit of everything, man. So it's early on. We're out here in the NA, guys. We're getting this video out for you guys. You guys have been showing the channel an insane amount of love um, recently. Guys, if we could... Uh, just comment down below with through the 60 ratings so far who have you guys been most impressed with I, I don't care about the likes the, the subs and all that guys just comment down below because I want to interact with you guys and that's important to me so just let me know through uh, ratings 160 or 100 to 41 right now so we have 60 ratings uh, let me know who you guys are most impressed with like who is the guy that you guys are looking at and being like damn either he's gonna be a lot more expensive than last year or he's just gonna be a ridiculous player in this year's ultimate team because that gets me excited to hear and I just like interacting with you guys man so the YouTube comments is dope get down there guys talk to me um, as well I wanted to just plug this and I hate plugging shit because I know um, when I when I do videos and things like that or I watch videos I hate watching people who say like yo can we this like target and then go follow me and then do that giveaway and it's not shaded anyone i just don't like it but guys i wanted to say on my instagram run the foot market i'm posting a lot of stuff there in terms of ratings and stuff so if you guys want to go check out out there there's good stuff there for you guys in terms of content all right let's get into the video so we talk top 100 ratings we're going to start today with 60 to 41 now we start with sadio mane ladies and gentlemen so sadio mane actually this card is going to be ridiculous this year and here is why he now has a four-star weak foot combined with four-star skills now this card reminds me a lot of Leroy Sané except he's got a four-star weak foot now I would prefer this card over Leroy Sané because he has a four-star weak foot that that is how much to me a four-star weak foot in, in terms of usefulness and 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 re like really being a, a helpful thing in foot champs means against over using a three-star weak foot I think it's huge for a card um now Mane's a little smaller than Sané and I think it would still be a coin flip in terms of who you guys would use. I think Sonic is going to be very overpowered. But Mane is going to be very good uh, early on. And Mane, I would tell you guys, is a good investment. But to me, I, I you know, it's really tough to know. I think Mane's son and I think Sane at the left wing spot in the EPL, when the full game comes out, I think they're all going to go up a lot in value. I think you're going to see these three be like the high in demand left wings. I saw Alexis got on this list today and we will talk about him. He's not going to be in demand this year. He sucks on FIFA. Um, <clears throat> so this card... It's definitely one, guys, you guys want to watch out for. Uh, next up, we have Perisic, who is coming off that banging World Cup with Croatia. Um, uh, hey, a decent card, right? He's got a five-star weak foot, so he keeps that, thank God. Because if, if he had his five-star <clears throat> weak foot taken away, I would have been shocked. I would have been like, EA, did you guys watch the World Cup? This guy was phenomenal during the World Cup. Um, and he had, a, he had some breakout games as we got later into the knockout stages. He's a really good player, man. And I'm excited to use Inter Milan cards this year. Expect this card if you guys want to invest. And what I mean, what do you want to invest? Like, like all these cards that I'm talking about to invest in, basically they're going to come out at an underappreciated or undervalued price when the full game comes out because you're going to have not as, you're going to have like literally two or 3% of the user base that actually plays FIFA on the game for that first week. And then when the game drops, the official launch date, then the whole market goes up because everybody in the world is opening packs, right? And then everybody starts to fly up. So Perisic could definitely be one of those guys. He's going to be a cheap guy that you're going to use in the Serie A. I think it's going to be Douglas Costa or Perisic. If you want a little bit more consistent of a guy with a five-star weak foot and who can finish a little bit better, you're going to go with Perisic. If you're looking for the sweat to cross it into Ronaldo or a target striker in this area, then I think you're going to go with Douglas Costa. So that that would be the 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 decision there for Serie A teams. I, I would put Perisic probably as the second option. I'm trying to think, is there any other left mids in the Serie A? I can't think of a ton. There's probably one more I'm missing. Um, <clears throat> but nonetheless, we have Varane. Now, this is a very deserved upgrade, right? I, I even think I'm on a, going to go out on a limb and say that I think Varane should be an 87. He won the Champions League this year, he won the World Cup, and he was just phenomenal on defense. And he's not talked about enough in football. He's just not, I don't think he's recognized enough as to how good this guy is. Um, but nonetheless, he got an insane upgrade. And this card, with 84 pace as a center back, 86 defending, 80 physical, with medium high work rates as a six foot three defender, is going to break FIFA this year. This guy is seems like he's been made to stop Cristiano Ronaldo. I, I, I don't know what this card is, but I'm thinking right now about pairing him with Manolas. Um, and he, Varane is just going to be crazy. I, I don't, this card is going to be so freaking good this year. So I think in terms of an investment, yes, this is going to go up in value, but the move for this is what can you find that links around Varane? What, what is a team that people are going to slot Varane into, right? Because that's very important, right? It's like, you, it's all about usage. So who are people going to be using Varane with? That's important to look at. And you guys should look into that, not only as an investment, but this guy, man, 
he is ridiculous. This is a ridiculous card. Um, and the thing that tops it off for me, right, is I look at the work rates and I see medium high. And the second I saw medium high work rates, I said, oh, you know what? He's going to be crazy. Varane's going to have a crazy one this year. So I'm glad he's keeping the work rates. Um, looks fantastic. 84 pace on a center back. You can literally never go wrong. Um, and that's going to be a phenomenal card. Next up, we move to Immobile, who could be he got a big upgrade. He went from an 85 to 5. He got an 82 last year to start FIFA. He went to an 85, and now he's an 87. So he got an 85 with the winter upgrade. So now he's an 87. But I will tell you this. This is a very deserved rating. Uh, everything about this 87 rating right here is deserved, right? Immobile has been literally killing it for Lazio. Um, I, whenever I turn on a Lazio game uh, on TV, he's like killing it. He's scoring goals. He looks like a threat. He's low-key like one of the best strikers in the world right now. He is ridiculous. Every time I watch a game, I'm serious. He is doing big things. Now, in terms of an investment, uh, four-star weak foot, he doesn't have the appeal, right? He doesn't have that thing like, oh my God, I have to use Immobile and FIFA Ultimate Team. However, he does look like a pretty strong option for one of the most hyped-up leagues, which is the Serie A next year. He looks like a, a pretty viable option. It's similar to, it looks very similar to a Lewandowski type of striker, right? You know, he's got he's got a good weak foot, not the best pace. But he's not going to run him behind, but he's got great finishing, and he's going to be a little bit, he's going to be tall, so he's going to be able to head the ball, and I think this guy's going to be a heading monster. Um, I would say Mobley is a decent investment. I wouldn't go crazy, uh, and in terms of a gameplay kind of thing, I don't, I don't think he's... I don't think he's the most meta player, right? But I think he's decent. And then we look at Alexis Sanchez, who, for me, I, I and this is not to hate on United fans, but I, I think Alexis at this point should be like an 86 or an 85. This guy, I mean, well, I think he was 88 or an 89 last year, and there's no United shade, but he has just been really poor, man, this whole, like, last year. He has not done anything. Every time I turn a United game, he's not doing anything. Although, I will retract my statement and tell you guys that he did have a really nice assist to Lukaku last weekend versus... Who were they playing? I think they were playing against Burnley. So he had a really good assist in that game. But just he's really been inconsistent, man. And, and and to be honest, the sad part about Alexis, right, was even when he was good or was playing well or in form in real life, his FIFA card was never great. He had an 86 pace, 84 shooting FIFA card last year. It just wasn't that usable. So, you know, I, I can't see Alexis. And I looked at the graphs from last year. Even Alexis's good card or, or usable card, rather, it never even went up that much in value. So it's not even a player that a lot of people are, are running after. Don't, 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 don't touch Alexis this year in terms of an investment. Don't touch him as a player. I just would stay away from it as a whole. Even if you're a player, if you're an investor, I wouldn't touch it. This is something we got to talk about. Now, Koulibaly got a three-inch downgrade on his height. I, I don't know what that means. He went from 6'5 to 6'2. However, he got a plus three upgrade. So he's now an 87 rated. He lost pace. I don't understand how that happens. Lost pace, but he has 88 defending and 86 fizzle. And I'm not going to complain about the pace anymore. I'm just going to I'm just going to praise the guys who do have high high pace values because I see it as wow. That's really overpowered now, right? Because pace everywhere else is getting slower. So it looks like center backs are slowing down, but I don't know if it's going to be that much of a problem this year. You know, I don't know if this whole theme of pace slowing down is actually going to be that much of a threat. I don't think it is, but we'll have to see, right? Koulibaly looks outstanding and again, Syria guys, right? Like this is the stuff that you guys should be mouthwatering over, right? Koulibaly's looking great. Dries Mertens looks phenomenal right? Four star, four star, 87 rated this year. He's got a plus one on the upgrade. He's looking at 89 pace, 83 shooting, 90 dribbling, 80 passing. This is the ultimate cam right here. This guy is going to be phenomenal as a cam and I, I can't wait to use this card. I'm going to be using this card a hundred thousand percent. Um, I think for me, I'm going to start off with like a budget teams for the first month because I'm going to be trading like a maniac. But I think ultimately what I'm going to end up doing is making a Serie A team. And I think that's what I'm going to do. It's going to include guys like Mertens, Manolas, uh, Cristiano. It's going to be ridiculous, man. So I'm really looking forward to using the Serie A. Mertens looks crazy this year in FIFA. Uh, Mario Icardi is next, 87 rated. I think it's very deserved for the amount of goals this guy scores. Um, nonetheless, it's, it's, an, it's an SBC card. You cannot really use this card. And even the team of the seasons that Icardi gets, I never see people using team of the season Icardi like crazy. I, you know, I just like never see it. So Icardi has an 87 rated. It's fair enough. Um, you know, not that much of a threat. He's going to be a strictly SBC kind of guy. This upgrade, I'm very happy with. Kaylor Navas is uh, going to be an 87 rated this year. And I think this is very deserved. I think Kaylor Navas should be rated up there with the top five goalkeepers in the world. Uh, after watching what he has done with the Champions League, with everything, man. He, yes, goalies always make mistakes. Keepers make mistakes. But he looks phenomenal, man. And, 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 and I think this rating really depicts what he's been doing in real life now. Is it going to be usable in FIFA? I'm not sure. He's still 6'1". So we know the meta in FIFA is guys who are 6'3", 6 6'4", 6 or the guys who have saves with feet. I don't know if Navas has saves with feet um, in FIFA. I'm not positive. And I don't know how 
relevant that stat is going to be or that trait is going to be this year. I, I don't know. I genuinely don't know. But Navas looks pretty decent in terms of Madrid. Madrid is all getting upgrades, man. I looked at some Madrid ratings, and they're all getting upgrades. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, guys, is going to look like one of the best sweat strikers to run in the Premier League. So in my opinion, this will be one of the better investments out of these new 20 ratings. I think Aubameyang is going to be a great one. He's got now four-star skills to go with four-star week foot. Last year, he had three-star skills. Now he's got four-star skills. He got a downgrade, but to be honest, guys, he's still got 94 pace and 84 shooting. And in a game where everyone has slowed down, this card still looks like ultra appealing, right? Work rates aren't the best. But 6-2, four-star, four-star. Arsenal fans, you guys should be excited regardless about the downgrade. It still looks like a very, very overpowered card. I'm looking forward to using this card. I'm also looking forward to investing in this card. I think you guys are going to make some good coins on Aubameyang this year. Iniesta, again, this is going to be SPC. But it's nice that they have kept his rating because he does deserve it. Um, keeping that 87 rating. He's still playing phenomenal. I saw some gold. Did you guys see the goal he scored? Uh, the other day with his club, it was crazy. So that's, that's very good. Jordi Alba is looking like the meta left back. I think Jordi Alba's got more pace now than he has ever had on a goal card in FIFA. I could be wrong, but I don't know if he's ever had over 92, and he's now got 93 freaking pace on his 87 rated goal card, which is just crazy. This guy is going to be ridiculous. I think Jordi Alba, team of the season, is a walking goat. He's crazy in FIFA 18, so I'm hoping that FIFA 19, Jordi Alba is really good. This is very deserved. I'm very happy with this rating, and investment-wise, guys, this is going to be a big-time investment. This guy is going to rise when the full game comes out 100%. It's not even a contention about Marcelo or Felipe Luis anymore. This guy is the best left back on FIFA in that league. I said on FIFA, not real life. But on FIFA, he is the best left back in BBVA. Vertonghen, guys, got an 87 rated this year. My Spurs boys, I don't even know if he deserves that. But um, it's not that usable still. It's 63 pace, right? So that's not great. I'm not too happy with that. It's the same thing when we looked at, like, Benucci yesterday. He had, like, 61 pace. I was like, what? How are we going to use this? So, look, again, that's, that's a pretty decent one. It's going to be good for SBCs, things like that. You know, nothing nothing standing out there. So we've got Umtiti higher rated than Varan. But what I want you guys to understand is that doesn't always mean that he's going to be better or that EA wanted to rate him higher. If you look statistically, Varan is better in this FIFA than Umtiti. Umtiti's got like 10, 4, 12 less pace than Varan. So this is very high rated. I think this is deserved. I don't know if it's deserved to be above Varan. If anything, they should be probably the same in rating. Uh, if you want to, if EA wanted to spin it that way, I think... Putting, you know, Umtiti a little higher than Ron is, is a little questionable for me. But um, nonetheless, he's got medium-high work rate. So this is going to be a very good card. He's not amazing in FIFA. He's decent in FIFA. He's not like Varane, who's ultra-meta in FIFA. Varane is great in FIFA, like he was last year. But I still think this is a very usable card. I think this is something that's a better alternative than PK. Um, it's also French. And France has a lot of hype on it right now because they won the World Cup. So expect this card to definitely do well as an investment. Uh, Hamzik looks solid as hell. Uh, Napoli's all getting a bunch of upgrades, which is which is good. I, he didn't really get an upgrade, right? But I'm talking about the team in general. Five-star weak foot for, for Hamzik, which is great. I'm not sure if Hamzik... I think Hamzik has had a five-star weak foot. I'm not positive. I think he has had a five-star weak foot. A lot of five-star... A lot of skill and weak foot changes this year, which I like. I like it. I think it's good for the game. Um, again, another very usable card in the Serie A. Um, will I be investing in it? Probably not... Um, it's not the most ultra in demand center mid, so I probably won't be investing in that. Lukaku got an upgrade this year, guys. He's going to be going to the 87 rating. He was an 86 last year. Um, he's got 84 shooting, 84 pace, and 87 physical. So he's going to be a strong boy. He's not going to be a traditional get in behind striker. He's going to be probably more of used as a hold up striker and a guy who floats around the box and cleans up goals like R, maybe not R9, but maybe Suarez, things like that. You know, I don't know if he's going to full on be. He's going to be one of those guys that doesn't really have the accelerate or has the acceleration maybe, but doesn't have the sprint speed. I don't know. We'll see how he looks in game. Definitely is a guy that every year, guys, Lukaku, when the full game comes out, Lukaku goes up a lot in value. So definitely get your hands on Lukaku early on if you have the coins. If you're opening FIFA points, get your hands on Lukaku. He's going to rise up a lot on uh, September 27th is when the full game comes out. This guy is going to rise up a lot. So expect Lukaku to be a good one. Uh, Ivan Rakitic, I still think is a little underrated. I think he should have been bumped to an 88 this year. My opinion doesn't matter. These ratings are out. Um, and not usable again, right? 62 pace, you're never going to use it. I don't think we could use Rakitic last year in FIFA until he got like three upgrades from the World Cup when he finally got 80 pace. Because center mids, man, just in the 60s of, of pace are just not that usable, guys. I, mean, I think we all know that. Uh, next up, we have Gerard Piquet, 87 rated, guys. 55 pace. What are they doing this year to the Barca boys, man? You got Vidal on 57 pace and Piquet on 55 pace. <laughs> Who pissed off the guys at but the, the guys at EA about Barcelona? It's unbelievable. But PK is not the fastest man ever. But I, I don't know if he's 55 pace. I mean, keep him in the 60s, EA. Come on. Six foot four, high medium. Again, this is gonna PK was like this last year, right? PK is, is starting to become 
on SBC Expert. He's starting to become uh, very, very, very good for that. But guys, this is the rating today that just broke FIFA. Um, this guy is going to be absolutely unbelievable next year for like five fucking months. Mbappe is now an 87 rated, but not only is he an 87 rated, he has 96 pace and five star skills with above 80 finishing and almost 90 dribbling. I, I, my, my mind when I saw this today, I saw five star skills and I saw 96 pace and I said, oh my God, this guy's going to break FIFA. So here's what I will tell you. Mbappe, guys, is going to fly this year when the full game comes out. This is going to be the most in-demand right winger in this year's FIFA. I'm telling you right now for the first two months, Ronaldo is now a striker and he never was a right wing, but I'm just saying Ronaldo's a striker. Messi is a, Messi is a center forward. I don't care who else is playing that right wing. This guy is ridiculous in this year's FIFA. This is going to be the most insane card ever. So do what you can. If you have a lot of coins, if you're opening a ton of FIFA points, if you trade to a million, try to get your hands on this card before the full game comes out because this guy is going to rock it for the first week in league. And try to figure out who are people going to use around Mbappe. Is it a French squad? Is it a French center mid? Is there a center mid in the, in, in, uh, the league gun that's going to link well with Mbappe so they can, so they can do hybrids? Because I don't know if people are going to want to rock full league gun teams. I don't think they are. So I think people are going to try to figure out who can I link with Mbappe. And that's going to be maybe, even if Mbappe is too out of your price range, you can figure out somebody that will do you well in terms of an investment that way. But I was so impressed by this rating today. And I'm really, this gets me excited, man. Like, seeing this gets me pumped for FIFA. I mean, this can, there's no way this can't get you excited for FIFA. So that's a great rating. And then next up, Thiago Silva from PSG. Again, not that usable in FIFA, but again, a good guy for SBCs and things like that. So that's going to be the 20 ratings we got today. In terms of best investments or most impressed by me, it... it Mbappe's got to be the number one. I look at Mbappe and I say, that's just a ridiculous card. And that's going to be not fair next FIFA. But I would also throw in, I think Jordi Alba's looking great. I think Aubameyang is going to be a great investment this year. I know he got a downgrade, but that four-star skills, guys, you don't understand how key that is. Mertens is going to be good. And then I think you got to look at Varane being another big boy. I'd say, you know, I, I'm really liking the hype around France. So I would be going with French players if you want to invest. But I would say Varane, Mbappe. Yeah, for me, guys, it's Varane, Mbappe, um, Aubameyang, Jordi Alba. I really like a lot of these ratings that we got today. I think that these guys are going to be very meta and very usable next FIFA. And I think that a lot of them, you're going to see a ton of those guys that we just saw today go up after the first, uh, you know, for the first week in league. So try to get your hands on one of them. If you guys want to make a team, I like to make investment squads early on. And that's a really good way to do it. Um, guys, if you guys were new to the video today, uh, just subscribe guys. We have a lot of content coming on the channel. It's hard to keep up. So you guys will want to be subscribed as well. Get in the comments down below. Who are you most impressed with today out of the first 60 ratings? Let me know in the comments. Guys, thank you to everybody for the support recently watching all the videos. I will see you all in a brand new video soon. Peace out.